Hey everybody, it's Trevor Celestiu again from the Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage. And as all of you know, I do a lot of model kit unboxings with uh, model cars in behind me, as well as some that I borrow from my friends. And on a lot of the YouTube videos, everybody keeps asking me, Hey Trevor, when are you going to build something? Well, I've built a lot of these model kits way back in the past, and actually I have a better idea. Instead of me trying to build stuff in a review, which is always difficult, I can just show you something cool, like this 1949 Ford that I made a long time ago. So let's go down to the turntable and see this model kit up close. Here we have my 1949 Ford from AMT Ertl, and this car is kind of unique because what I've done here is I've polished the plastic. This is the actual color that the uh, model kit is molded in from AMT, and really all I did inside the interior was I have a special custom mix of this flat green paint that I made up using a Tester's OD and some white, I, as I recall. Now I've built this car a very long time ago, and uh, as you can see I've added in some Tamiya uh, clear red at the back, transparent red I do believe, and bare metal foil. So this was an experiment again just to uh, see if I could build a model without painting it. And again I've just polished the uh, body. Now what I did is I sanded down all the seam lines on this 49 Ford, and I used the LGM polishing cloths and whatnot. I think it's LGM. It's a company that made them. They're uh, sandpapers that go from 1800 grade to, uh, what is it, 12,000. It's been a long time since I used them. But again, I polished it and waxed it and then added in the bare metal foil. And you can see the results are quite nice. So again, oh, and the other thing I did was, you know, using the um, spinner, I was able to paint the white walls on the tires using the acrylic paints, just like in our Tips and Tech video, which I can leave the description up here. So anyway, there's our Ford. So let's take a look under the hood of our 49 Ford and see the engine. It's the first time I actually did a shot like this. Okay, I know it looks a little bit dark in here, so I'll just bring the light over. So here we have our out-of-the-box flathead Ford motor. Now I painted it green at the time because I thought that was the Ford color, but green is from like the 30s. So this engine now, I think the uh, Ford painted it like a copper or something like that for this model year. As you can see, the engine bay is really clean inside there. I have the uh, air cleaner up top, as you can see, as well as our battery. There's the heater motor, or blower, I guess. And again, it, it went together really nicely inside there. Everything lines up. You glue the uh, engine down on the chassis and then assemble the car together, and everything works out fine. Here's our model car from underneath, and as you can see, I've painted the chassis and the frame flat black here. Our springs and differential are gloss black. We've got our shock absorbers in the back. Everything's connected via a drive shaft up to our engine here. You can see the little starter and there's our exhaust pipe going up to the back. And again, the gas tank and the spare tire. Everything here was quite easy, went together really well and was quite fun to build and paint. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little model car show and tell with my 1949 Ford. And if you've built this model kit in the past, let us know how you enjoyed building it. If you like my model, let me know. That would be great. 
And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time me and Danny the dog make a new video, you're the first one to know about it. Sometimes I might make the video without Danny the dog too, but anyway. And until next time everybody, happy model building! Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is... it We are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.